Hey everybody, Sensor Bible God here, signing in with a new series called Wicked Wednesdays. And we're going to start that out with Wicked Weed Brewing Appalachia Session IPA. It says 10% uh, of proceeds from this local session IPA are donated to Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy to protect our mountains and water. Bright, citrusy, and refreshing, we brew our local session IPA as a tribute to our collaborators, the Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy. SAHC protects an irreplaceable local land and water, and by drinking this exceptional beer, you do too. Find your inspiration in the lab, Appalachia. And the alcohol content is about 4.7, so what I could find, because I like lighter beers, is that if you look for the alcohol content to be between four and five, you're gonna have a, a lighter IPA taste but on Wicked Wednesdays, we are going to be just trying some alcoholic beverages. You can come back and join us. We'll have a different alcoholic beverage every week, whether it be a beer, some wine, some champagne, some mixed drinks, some whiskey. I'm going to talk about whiskey. All right. First off, I love the way the can looks. I think that's super cool. A portion of the proceeds of this session up here donate to the separate lives of the Islands Conservancy to protect our mountains of water. Beers that build River Bend Malt Horse, North Carolina. North Carolina beer. So keep it cold, drink it fresh. Oh, it smells like a lot of beer. It smells good. It smell. it smells like IPA. It does. But I mean, some of them, some of them IPAs are stoked. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not a beer drinker, so it does have a tinge of the IPA, but it doesn't taste like a deep color. So it is a light beer. Will you give me a glass? So it's like a blonde. Yeah, I would assume a blonde. Give me one of the tiny mason jars. Yeah, well, well, uh, honey yeah, yeah. Shoot, we country around here. That's what I give the kids drinks out of. Yeah. <laughs> Get your standard mason jar. I want to see the color on this. Yeah. Yeah, it's blonde. So yeah, dark. this is a very, very light colored beer. And this is what I prefer. I really like the flavors. It says that it is a... Uh, I read online that it is a mix of a couple different flavors in here and that's why it's the got so many colors but i will say i could definitely drink that at 4.7 at 4.7 percent alcohol it still tastes ipa ish and i'm not sure where that taste come from where what what creates that taste is it the hops maybe yeast or something? I don't know, but I like it. it tastes pretty good. It's strong, though. It is. And I, it only takes, I don't know, two or three IPAs, and you get a, a decent feeling from drinking these, and don't have to drink six beers or anything like that in order to get there. Uh, I, it, like I said, it does have that heavy, I guess it would be hops flavor, but I don't think you're gonna be able to escape that. And if you're gonna to want to stand behind local people, this is North Carolina, we live in East Tennessee, so we're just right over the border. But if you wanna if you wanna support local people instead of big companies, I guess you just get used to that, that little tinge in your mouth. But hopefully everybody has liked this video. This is gonna be a very short series of videos, none of them too long. We might get a little bit more elaborate in the future, but for now we're just gonna see how it takes off. And I hope you've enjoyed Wicked Wednesday. Wicked Weed Appalachian IPA. You guys make sure to like and subscribe and check out all my social medias. Yeah, that's recording. Yep. Okay. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. <laughs> all right.